Death isn't something that happens separately, but is integral to the movement. I don't try to get air. Instead, I let my mouth clear the water on in-sweep. Notice the tiny gap between my mouth and the surface when I breathe. That's the key to my stable head position. I now have a gentle dolphin produced entirely by my breathing action. The most important lesson there though was that there's a natural time to fit the breath into the movement and make it seamless uh, and not to have the breath be independent. Another thing that happens very commonly that uh, where the head really messes up the line of the body and the, and the movement forward of the body is this sort of movement in the breath. So I'll do it incorrectly for a few cycles and then do it correctly so you can see the difference between chin movement and letting the head simply lift as a part of the in-sweep and then fall forward smoothly as a part of the streamline. Controlling head movement is key to channeling energy forward. Because of this my body rebalances each time I streamline. Notice how moving his head forward and streamlining dynamically creates a natural wave in Stefan's hips. Notice how much time Stefan spends streamlined below the surface and how quickly he returns to that position after he starts to stroke. Now that I have the breath integrated, I'll start integrating the legs into the action. All right, and what I'll do is feel the moment when that in-sweep causes my knees to bend. And I'm not going to do a breaststroke kick yet. I'm just going to follow that knee bend with a flick of the toes. And I'm going to time that toe flick so that it synchronizes with the spearing forward of my hands. I'm trying to minimize knee bend here. I want to feel my legs react naturally when my shoulders lift on in-sweep. My knees bend naturally as my head and shoulders lift. Then I flick my toes as I streamline. If Stefan aimed his hands more forward, his body would streamline nearer the surface. Using a toe flick or dolphin rather than breast kick helps me return quickly to streamline. I aim to feel that flicking my toes drives my hands to streamline. As Stefan aims his hands more forward, his body streamlines just below the surface rather than diving. Again, notice how smoothly, yet strongly, Stefan returns to streamline just below the surface.
as I bring in the open feet of the breaststroke kick. I'll do it infrequently. I'll do several dolphins or toe flicks followed by one breaststroke kick. I want my breast kick to feel just as quick and compact as my dolphin kick, but breast kicks drive me forward more. When I open my feet, they should barely be wider than my hips. I try to minimize knee bend on both dolphin and breast kicks. Notice how Stefan thrusts forward more powerfully when he opens his feet. I'll practice with infrequent breaststroke kicks until I feel that the breaststroke kicks are just as compact and quick as the dolphin kicks. And then as that starts to emerge as a habit, then I'll just make the breaststroke kicks more frequent. So now I'll do one dolphin, one breast, one dolphin, one breast. Notice how quick the breast kicks are. That's because I imprint quickness with dolphins. The dolphin imprints the feeling I aim for on the breast kick. Stefan puts as much snap in his feet on the breast kick as on his dolphin. Now I've brought the breaststroke kick into the whole body movement, but I haven't really focused yet on, on the kick itself, how to take the kick. So now we'll start a series of exercises uh, to make you more aware of how to do the kick and make that fit in effectively with the other movements. I'm going to start with just very small kicks, making them as small as I can. I won't put a breath into this. I'm just going to leave my arms forward. I don't have to be streamlined. I can just leave them forward. And as I do, I'm also going to consciously streamline my head as I complete each kick. As I finish the thrust, I'll, I'll subtly streamline my head. My primary focus here is streamlining everything that's forward of my hips, especially as I thrust my feet. Even though I'm not breathing, I consciously move my head slightly forward as I thrust my feet back. This begins to imprint an action that will increase forward momentum when I do take a breath. Stefan's slight head movement contributes noticeably to his compact body dolphin. I'm going to put the breath in infrequently. I'll breathe about every third or fourth kick uh, so I can focus, really focus on streamlining. And then when I put the breath in, see if I can get back to streamline just as well as when I didn't take a breath. 
Though my movements are small and gentle, I still achieve good propulsion, even against a current, because I focus intently on avoiding resistance. Now I'll breathe every second kick, so I'm increasing my breathing frequency a little bit more. When I don't breathe, I streamline full time. When I skull and breathe, I focus on returning to streamline. Stefan moves his head so subtly, it's hard to tell from this angle when he's breathing and when he's not. Here, you can tell when his mouth clears the water, but there's no change in how he returns to streamline just below the surface. Stefan's head position never changes and his mouth barely clears the surface when he breathes.